we're still going up and we find we have to go through this thing. It's just like a whole bunch of boulders wedged in there. Good morning. We're still in Kent right now. It's day 145. We're here at the post office. Tina's mailing her tent back and I'm mailing, well, she's mailing my pot and stove back, which is Nikki's stove actually from uh, Front Royal area. But uh, yeah, so that's, that's it for her tent. So we're stuck together in the duplex for now. And here's her pack. She has a duplex in there right now. Um, I'm still carrying a footprint just because we're going to try to get there together because she doesn't really know how to set up the duplex yet. Uh, we haven't gone through that. So we're going to try to get to the campsite together. It's going to be 17 miles, over 4,000 feet of gain. It's going to be a tough day, I think. Um, so wish me luck. Uh, we're going to try to hike together most of today just because first day. And then later on, once we get our thing going in the morning, she'll just sit at tent at camp and just like have her coffee. But tomorrow morning, I'm gonna show her how I fold up my tent as well. So um, maybe tomorrow we'll hike together as well. But our plan right now is two nights out, only two nights to go 55 miles into Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Slightly interesting bridge. I got rocks with fencing over it. And it's a natural trout, trout stream hiding out can't see but we are back on trail i'm in the front tina says i'm going way too fast for her <laughs> now it was really flat in general and the flatter spots i go a little quicker because uh the climbs i'm super slow in the climb so i gotta make up time where i can that's just been my habit look at all the pretty flowers off this side more buttercups and Look like thistles or some type, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on up here, but it feels like it's late winter here. Just a few leaves on the trees. Most of the trees are kind of barren. I don't know if these trees are not doing too well. Or the leaves are very small. Like they're just blooming over here. Did we head that far north that quickly? Oh wait, down below it's green. Interesting, huh? I wonder what's going on. These trees might not be doing so well. You get views though. Oh, I've been looking out for bears this time because we saw one in town yesterday. And I figure, I mean, come on. Why can't we see you guys in the woods, not just hanging out by the dumpster? Here we are at Caleb's Peak. Tina's here, another hiker. Another peak. I hope we go down and do the flat section next. the views. Nice calm day. We're on this nice little straightaway. It's uh, probably the most level section we're gonna have for a long time but it's basically almost five miles along a river and it's mostly flat so we're trying to make up as much time as we can here because after this it's all up and down for eight miles and i know i'm gonna slow down big time so not much uh filming just walking as quickly as we can i told tina i was like we can hold hands hiking this or we can just go as fast as we can further back it was a dirt road so it was much wider but <sighs> sometimes you gotta look at your day and plan it out you know but the yeah, second half is going to be hard. Any bears? We're just hiking along and we saw a porcupine walking along the trail and we got lucky. He didn't climb a tree, he just like walked next to the trail parallel for a while and then he walked back. Because someone was shooting off fireworks across the river. And now he's just kind of hanging out in the bush. It looked like he was trying to decide whether to climb a tree or not and they decided we're no threat and they just hung out. But pretty cool. First porcupine. <laughs> He's a little guy. Yeah, but I think now it wants to be left in peace. Yeah, we should go. We just had a nice lunch here at this nice rock right along the river and the Tina's packing up. 
she actually washed a bag of blueberries that we were eating here. And we were joking that if any hikers came by, we'd be like, yeah, we just picked them across the field over there. <laughs> but uh, see if they, we can trick them. But now we're about to get going. Of course, I eat a lot of blueberries. We just got water at a pipe spring, which is just at the end of this level area. There's a river behind me. But that means we're going up. Tina just said it's 800 feet and 1.2 miles, which is pretty steep. <sighs> All right, let's do this. And uh, Tina will probably catch me really soon. I don't know how much time she's going to give me ahead, but she'll, she'll see me really soon. But let's go. Tina wants me to say shtaka swine. Sh shtaka swine. Porcupine, we saw that. But I just, uh, ooh, I'm dark. Just wanted to say that uh, Tina's learned like I am dripping wet with sweat and my shirt is completely soaked. I mean like really wet. Her shirt is dry and she was saying, oh, I thought about putting on my long sleeve shirt. I guess maybe the exertion I put out, I don't know. And she's still faster, shoots ahead. There's Tina there in her dry shirt. I guess Germans are cold blooded. <laughs> <laughs> cold blooded. Her arms are dry too and I'm like super glisteny. Yeah, but my forehead is a bit moist. Oh, a bit moist. Yeah. Oh, you scraped your knuckle. Oh, yeah. Oh. I've been dripping sweat. I've, I actually have to wipe it every now and then so I don't sweat on my camera. Oh, this breeze is so nice. It All is. right, shall we get going? Sure. Okay. We're at a nice viewpoint up here, though. Show the views. Yeah, show the views here. The woods are a little browner than they used to be in, like, the peak of spring. I don't know if just the way the cycle goes. Mm, looks like there's some more dead trees. In yeah. Like we yeah. saw on the other mountain top. Yeah, it looks like a lot of dead trees down below. Hmm. A lot of the mountain laurels flowers have fallen down, but every once in a while you see bushes just build. It's like we're going north super fast or something. Super fast. We are at the last water source before we get to our shelter that we're going to. We're going to tent out there. There's a water source down the hill quite a bit from there and there hasn't been any updates in forever. So we figure we'll just get water here and carry it up. It's unfortunately going to be like 1.6 miles, maybe 450 feet of climb and then a little bit of down, but she's carrying a little more water than me. I'm only carrying two liters and she's carrying like three and a half. Basically carrying water I need because I drink a lot of water. Four and a half. Four and a half. Ooh. It's like she's carrying a gallon of water. How's it feel? It's okay. I mean, we don't have much food and my heavy tent is gone. Oh, yeah. She's carrying a duplex. I don't even have a tent on me. And she's carrying all that water. Okay. She'll still be faster than me on this climb. We're still going up and we find we have to go through this thing. It's just like a whole bunch of boulders wedged in there. So Pocket Rocket's going first since she's carrying way more weight now than me. I guess with the camera, I'm carrying about the same amount of weight. See how she does. I hope I don't get stuck. Yeah, it's a steep one right there. It's okay though. It's okay. After that, she just dropped her trekking poles. Do what you gotta do. Super elegant, huh? <laughs> elegant. <laughs> okay, my turn. Wave. <laughs> I'll get there someday. Certainly at a shelter called Pine Swamp. Anything swamp. Certainly there are no bugs there. Certainly. We're almost home for tonight. Sorry folks, I forgot to record a closing video yesterday, so I'm just doing it this morning. So, uh, because she broke my routine, my routine is all gone, so <laughs> what can you do? It's to be expected, it's gonna happen until we get into the groove again. So, thanks for watching everyone. You all have a good night and talk to you tomorrow. Bye! Bye. <laughs>